drops are ready to go. Drivers ready? Ready. Oh, I found a hole. Hello, hello, and welcome, everybody. JB here with JB's RCs. Thanks for stopping by. Got an awesome mud drag video for you today. I don't know if you guys have been watching my mud videos, but uh, this is a new competition uh, up at Cotton's RC Village and Adventure. We're doing a points bracket drag race, drug mud drag race. It's super fun. So I just got a few little clips of some of the races here for this day. This is the second time we've been out um, for the points race. Uh, a bunch of bunch of guys out there, at least uh, ten of us, I think, eight or ten of us out there. Uh, we ended up doing uh, a, like a double elimination kind of round, uh, and the the best one is well, the winner is that guy right there with the race, and then oh, the other one that's racing him right now got second place. Um, we called it the Mudstang. Right, it was a Mustang body on there. Um, that Mudstang only was two wheel drive too. Um, crazy chassis coming out here. There's Rates, there's crawler chassis. I'm using my TRX for sport. Um, that buggy's got a crawler chassis underneath it. A um, little high or a little stiff because they kept flipping that one over. There's some four wheel drives, there's paddle tires, there's mud tires. And I really haven't decided what setup I'm going for yet. But as you can see, um, I'm definitely not the fastest of the group by far. So I think I'm going to try to put some straight axles on my TRX for sport. And we're going to see if that makes it any faster. So, I did get, I was the winner of the slow people, but it still, I think it only got me like fifth place or sixth place. Um, but again, this is a points bracket kind of style. So, some people that won last week or last month, because we're doing it once a month until February, and then we'll have the winner in February. Um, and some people are just joined in this week. So, I'm, I'm guessing or hoping at least that if I stay in and, and come every time they do it every month, that I'll actually be maybe in the top five, especially with some more mods and upgrades. So uh, this is just me playing around afterwards with my truck. I was having fun in the mud. Uh, it's so funny when I was editing this video, I could actually like smell the mud while I was editing the video like that, that dirt, wet dirt smell. I don't know, it was freaking awesome. <laughs> uh, truck was great. Everything works wonderfully on this. And I finally got it set up the way I like it. Um, again, not the fastest. Uh, it is portal axles on there, so it's dropping it down quite a bit. And I'm running the Hobby Wing Fusion 1800 SE. Um, other than that, nothing crazy special about it. I changed out the pinion gear from a 17 to a 23 tooth. Uh, I believe that's the highest pinion I can go to, so this is about as fast as this thing will go without changing something else in it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go for straight axles and see if that makes it fast enough to compete with at least the, the medium speed guys. Um, some of these guys are running stupid fast rigs. <clears throat> I mean, most of the, for the most part, they're just skimming over the top. Um, and as you can see from the beginning of the video, when I had some of those uh, actual drag races, some guys are starting like 10 feet behind the start line so they can get speed up on the dry stuff before they hit the wet, muddy stuff. I just started right on the start line every time. I don't even care. I didn't even care if I lost. I got stuck quite a few times too. Um, only finished two actual races, I think, of the four I was in. The other two, I got stuck. <laughs> uh, but they're changing it up, too. Uh, the first one was a real short course, uh, maybe half the length of this one and perfectly straight. This one, they extended to twice the length and put kind of a bend in it halfway through or so. So it made it a little more difficult, especially for, like, that two-wheel drive guy. I mean, he did end up getting second place, but there was some times he was way up, way off to the side of the track. And, um, the barrier is the wall on the back side there, and then you see these little orange and red flags on this side. That's the barrier on this side, so um, the, closer, the closer you get to that wall in the background there, um, the deeper the mud gets. It, it's up almost to my knees back there, so that's about two and a half feet deep over by that wall. Um, <clears throat> so much fun, though. I love these things. Um, they're talking about maybe the next one. We're actually going to do a down and back drag race. So you're going to have to go down and then go around a cone or, or something and then come back. Uh, we talked about putting jumps in, just throwing a big old ramp in the mud somewhere so you have to do a jump on the way back or on the way down. Or, uh, it'll be fun because we're going to change it up a little bit so I can do the same course every time. Uh, the other thing is the course itself. 
you know, over the course of two or three weeks in between each drag race, the course dries up. Um, so we were out there, well, not we, but Cotton, the gentleman who owns this property uh, and has us all over <clears throat> for Cotton's RC Village and Adventure. Uh, he was out there with his big four-wheel drive tractor with a bucket on the front and a backhoe, and he was just driving back and forth and digging and scraping and dragging and trying to get a consistency that was decent and deep enough throughout. So a lot of work goes into this too. Uh, for them, for them as well. Yeah, so the, the track itself, the mud consistency and depth and all that is different every time. So you're kind of learning each pass you make. Like where's, where's the good line, where's the deep spots, you want to steer clear of those. So like I said, my first two runs, I sank and got stuck. Didn't make it to the finish. But once I realized where the little holes and the deep spots were, I could try to avoid those if I could. Um, my last two races, I did end up finishing. Like I said, uh, I think I was the winner of the slow bracket because they're basically doing like the fast guys and the slow guys. I do race fast guys, as you saw. There was a point in time there where the first five feet, the guy was already finished with the race and I was still spinning tires. So. <laughs> but I do love this. Uh, I love this truck. I love mudding. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait to uh, see what else I can do with this to step it up a notch. Oh, yeah, look at that. Um, my body is Velcroed on uh, for this. I wanted the body to set low. Um, now I'm thinking that was actually a bad idea because the rear of the body does catch mud. Oh, yeah, and some wheelies. I can't believe this thing does wheelies in this slippery mud. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, stay tuned. We're going to have some more videos coming up for you. And get out there and have some fun.